Today on Real Spirits and Gear, we check out the Rocker Verb Mark III from Orange Amps. I've been a big fan and worked with Orange Amps for a long time, and I was excited to get to try the Mark III version of the Roggeverb. Now, the Roggeverb is kind of a modern classic in the Orange line. Um, it's used by everyone from rock guys to metal guys to pop guys and everything in between, which just shows its versatility. Now, the first question I always get when mentioning that I have one of these is, how does it compare to a Mark II? Now, while there will be a video separate from this one comparing the two directly, um, it's pretty different and also related. It's kind of hard to explain. The gain structure is definitely a little different. Uh, this is a much more aggressive amp altogether. Everything about it is just more aggressive and the attenuator is an absolute must with this amp. Now each of the two channels has its own volume and you can basically drive them into the attenuator. And I actually use the attenuator as kind of a master volume and the tone does change and will fill out the harder you drive each channel. So you kind of have to dial it to taste, but I found on the drive channel, uh, the channel volume right at about one o'clock to three o'clock, anywhere in there, driving it pretty hard, really fills out the low end resolution and just sounds absolutely huge. Now for this tune, I am using my signature Balaguer Hyperion loaded with Fishman Modern Fluence pickups straight into the Rockover Mark III with no boost and no overdrive of any kind. The amp is going into a Universal Audio Aux cab simulator. And uh, yeah, thought I'd have some fun and uh, do a little Corrosion a Conformity uh, song called King of the Rotten from the 90s album uh, Wise Blood. So yeah, it's a lot of fun. Let's do it. Now that we got the tune and had our fun, let's do a playthrough. I'm gonna reamp a track and I'm going to just mess with the dials in real time. Uh, also notice that the reverb is much more dialed back than the Mark II rocker verb. Um, I like this feature a lot. With the Mark II rocker verb, you either went from nothing to full on way too much reverberation just within one click and there wasn't a lot of sensitivity or rather maybe it was over, overly sensitive for the reverb control. So this is a nice sweep of reverb and it still lets your dry signal come through a little bit. It's very, very nice sounding. So pay attention to the reverb and also the clean and how it can get gritty and it can also clean up as well. Let's do the playthrough.
that about wraps up the video for the Rockerverb Mark III. This is a, one of the loudest amps I have ever played. This can hang easily with any of the 70s bass amps that are like 302 watts and things like that. I don't know what kind of magic orange is putting into this amp, but this is absolutely one of my favorite amps I've ever had the pleasure of plugging into. And I'm not just saying that. For those of you who have been following me on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook, I have just been going gaga over this amp because it's just, it has that flavor and it's the instant doomy down corrosion of conformity crowbar I hate God tone in a box. And I just absolutely love this amp. And it's also physically one of the heaviest amps ever as well. So beware when you are uh, perusing the interwebs for one of these amps. All the pickable links down below in the description. You've been wonderful. I have been Fluff. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.